the the thing is, I can't I can't control that the system has not. I've been it, and I can't control it either, sir. There's can I speak to a manager, please? Sure. Guys, we're taking a little ride around Beverly Hills to show you how pretty it is around here. The level of money in LA is second to like everywhere is wealthy, pretty much. Obviously, there are lots of parts that are not as wealthy, but there's so many really like really wealthy areas. It's uh, kind of crazy. These are like this is like the uber wealthy area. I've seen a domestic going on right here. Fuck. Fight, fight, fight. Oh, she's pissed. I'm gonna try and get an American driving license while I'm here. Pretty handy to have another license. Plus, if I can get one, it's uh, definitely worth it, I think. I just need to grab my passport. Hello. The police officer basically said to me, I need to have a California license because uh, I have a motorbike here, I have insurance. For the drive, do I have to bring my own car? Mm -hmm. Your own car and your own motorcycle. Okay, cool. I I'll borrow my cousin's car, it's all good. I need the visa or the passport. And just a question, do I do the test today or do I, can I, I, I book it? You have to do a written test today. Sure. You could do both of them. Let's do that. And the motorcycle, and then you schedule, once you pass, you schedule the cool. driving test. Now this is, if you look at when I was, my entry date. Okay, admit until, I yeah. have to go by this date. Okay. This is what I have to enter. It obviously hasn't updated on the system, so just put it through, yeah. I can't put a different date, it will yeah, that's not allow the, me No, that's fine, put, 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 a diff, put the same date, but I'm saying it's that. It's not going to allow me to, it's not going to let me issue you anything, because it's less than 30 days. Until the new one comes updated, hold on to the application number, and then we can start the process. The the thing is, I can't I can't control that the system has not. I've been it, and I can't control it either, sir. There's nothing I can do. Can I speak to a manager, please? Is that is that okay? She'll be right up. Yeah, that's. I'm not trying to cause a problem, but no, obviously. No, I'm not trying to cause a problem. I just yeah. started. But you can obviously see that sir, it says. We're not going to go by obviously. We need the document to state the time that you're here for. All right. Thank you. I'm gonna have to sort my driving license out tomorrow because I have a document called an I-94, which um, apparently is incorrect. Okay, so we've got the pier just there. And we're in. Right, everyone, we are in Santa Monica Pier where we've got a couple of things to do. One, I want to go have a look because the last time I was here, I never got to go to the um, the like gym stuff, the rings, and I'm also going to find a free haircut. That's the uh, plan. What's up, guys? This, uh, this is gonna sound really random. I just wanted to know if you wanted a free haircut by any chance. No, not really. Cool, man. Have a nice day, yeah? I just wanted to know if you wanted a free haircut by any chance. Why not? Yeah? You up for it? Where are you from, man? Uh, Italy. So we got a uh, we got a half yes there, and then we got a no. Wonderful. On to the next. Mike, this is gonna sound super random. I saw you walking past. So it looks like you're in need of a haircut. You want a free haircut by any chance? I'm down for it. Yeah. Free haircut for real? For free for real. I was thinking of a haircut too today, bro. You're thinking about getting it done. Yeah, that was it's like perfect timing, then, huh? Strange. No, it's strange. I like it. I like strange to be uh, mysterious. Are you originally from California? Yeah. Born and raised? Nah, I was born and raised in Guatemala. Guatemala, yeah? When did you move here? Well, I came here when I was like 13 years old. Okay. You know, it took me like, uh, went, to, went to school here, so I, I didn't know English when I came here. And now you speak fluent English, man. Yeah, bro, thanks to thanks to, to America, bro, teaching me English, you know, like. Yeah. Yes! Oh, what, from Why Thailand? that sh 
<laughs> Get them crisp, baby. The first question I always like to ask people that sit in my chair is what has been your Grace's adventure in life you've had so far? It was in the woods. If anyone has been in Mount Baldi, Where's that? Where's yeah. For people that don't know where that is, where uh, is that? Mount Baldi is in a, it's a Red Tooth Monga. Okay. It's Mount Baldi is the best best camping place to go to, you know what I'm saying bro? Like, it's, sure. so, it's big, it's dark, like it's a, a, lot, of, a lot of trees. I think my greatest adventure was going to the mountains and having a sesh. <laughs> having a sesh? A smoking sesh. A smoking sesh, love that man. Yeah, that was the greatest moment of my life. What has been your greatest challenge in life? Building a better relationship with my mom. Because I have it right now, but it's not there, you know, like, uh, like every time I, I try to talk to her, like, yeah. it's bitter. Why is it bitter? Because, it's like, I, I don't know, you know, my, I was always alone. I didn't really have my mom, but she was sure. always there. Yeah, she was around. She was, she was working, around, right working, yeah, you know, but I was always alone. And I love my mom. I, I, you know, don't get me wrong, I love my mom. But I, it, is, it is the greatest challenge ever because when she's gone, you know, bro, that's why I, that's why I think it's, it's going to be greater. When she's what, she's not here anymore? Yeah. Why so? Well, you know, it's going to be a challenge, bro. It's, my only, it's literally the only woman I love. She's still around, yeah? She's still around, yeah. And you feel like that? You, so you haven't experienced that challenge yet, but you know that's going to be a yeah. challenge. I'm COVID, bro. That's up a lot of people shit. Yeah, no, I know, man. She's doing good, she's blessed. Uh, thanks to that. Yeah, bro, I've been praying for that. That uh, day doesn't come around soon, huh? Yeah, yeah, big uh, So coming up towards the uh, end of your haircut, if you had a 15-year-old version of yourself, if you could give any advice to him, what advice would you give that young version of yourself? There is something I learned. I learned uh, recently. And if I was to meet myself, a younger age, tell yeah. myself that I think I'll be like, I would advise myself if, if I win, I'll be happy. I, I would advise that young man that if we win, we'll be happy. But if we lose, if we lose you'll be wiser. Bro, I f***ing love that. That was, uh, that was good, man. See the back, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get my phone up, but I'm gonna Ah, oh, I see it now. You see it? Nice. Yeah. You see it, bro? Right? You look Jamie, I think. It's my absolute pleasure, man. Thank you for the time. Yeah, you got Instagram, bro? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Sure. Instagram. Wish you the best, man. You know, you enjoy, enjoy California, yeah, bro. Yeah, you know it, man. You know it, you Hey, guys, like and subscribe, you know, to my boy's uh, page. He did a pretty good job. Good conversations. Hey, and Jesus loves you. <laughs> Get there. <laughs> Love that, bro. Right guys, we have got our first trim done of California. I, um, my camera is about to die and I don't have a spare battery, so tomorrow's a new day, next haircut, next location tomorrow. I've also got to go to some embassy to get my I-94 document fixed so we can try and get a driving license. See you in the morning.